Hey everybody in YouTube land, this is Nina Meyer, Neat coming to you with another haul. It's going to be from the uh, Hobby Lobby, Salvation Army, the Dollar Store, um, and, and the Goodwill. Not Salvation Army, I'm sorry, the Goodwill. That's where I went. And I went to a yard sale too, like I done told y'all that. All right, at the yard sale... I wound up getting these jeans here. I know y'all probably can't see them. But anyway, there's some jeans. I'm not sure who they were. I paid eight bucks for them. Let me tell you something. These, I'm going to probably try to go back. My, me and my hair. I tell you what's the truth. But anyway, I'm going to try to go back, I think. And she had some white ones. And these jeans right here is like somebody come in and they measured me and they made them for me these things are awesome they're skinny jeans they go all the, i also have some extra length on the bottom and i love love that but i got these for eight dollars and let me show you all the other stuff that i got from her now i got a canister set yes i know this is about the third canister set i got but that's okay you know what i'm like tammy roberts it's mine you know my husband said what you do you know i'm like man mind your business mind your business what, what, why do you need? Why do you need what you got? It's a woman thing. It's our thing, you know. But anyway, this is the tops of them. But they had a few chips on. See the little places, and I had some silver nail polish, and I touched it. But I'm going to Walmart or Sally's so and get the get this kind, this uh, real bright nail polish to touch it up. But here they are. They're beautiful. It's three. I didn't bring all of them because I had already washed them and all and put them in my kitchen. Let me show y'all. I love these. Y'all, for all three of these, a large, medium, and small one, paid $5 for all three of them. You can't beat it. Mm -mm, you can't beat that. I got that from her. And also, y'all, I am a, um, a Wizard of Oz kid. I was raised with Wizard of Oz. I know it was way before my time, but let me tell you something. I love me some Wizard of Oz. You hear me? I love it. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you who I can relate with on Wizard of Oz. Nope, I'm not going to do that. But look, I'm joking with y'all. She gave me this at the yard sale. Oh, uh, it says, The Wizard of Oz. The 50-year anniversary, I think, or something like that. I can't see but, you know, I see that right there. It's a little, you know, it's a little, they don't have the cap to them. I like to get the cap to it. But Jamie, that's all I'm saying is Jamie. She wrote her name on the bottom of it. But anyway, this is a cool little, you know, I might would even use it, but I'm not. Because I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to, um, uh, I want the lid to it. I wish I could find the lid to it. But anyway, I just love it. Let me look, look at something, y'all. Let me look. I got all kinds of stuff to show y'all. I'm serious. 1939 Incorporated. 1966 Metro Goldwyn Mayer. And 1989 Turner Entertainment Company. The 50th Anniversary. Oh, it's so beautiful. I just... I just I got the I got I got the video and C D and everything. I got it all. But anyway, and at her at her yard sale, uh, I got this right here. This uh it what I paid three bucks this up, but I am gonna redo this uh gold thing. It's gold frame, it's a W, but you know, my last name's May, so I said I'll take it and I'm gonna make it out into a May. You know, M for May. She said, Well you could yeah, you could do that. It looks it's an M. So that's what I'm doing. I, I paid three bucks for that. Then I got the most unique cross I've ever seen. And I love it. I love it. I'm going to wash it because it's got these marbles in it. Pay $2 for it. And I know i got to straighten it out some. But look, y'all, tell me that's not pretty. Pay two bucks for it. I'm, I'm sure it needs straightening out some, you know. But uh, my hall closet at one time, my hall closet, my um hallway... At one time, that whole wall right there was solid crosses. And so when I got, you know, I like changing things up. So I took them all off, and then I put them in the master bedroom on each side of the bed. And they're really, really pretty. And then from her, I got three of these, and these are liners. It's the rose scent. And y'all y'all know me. I love, love roses and the smell of roses and all that. But anyway, 
Uh, they were made in Italy. They were made in Italy. And they're regular seven dollars from TJ Maxx, and I paid three bucks each. I mean, you know, they're, they're drawer liners, you know, like wallpaper basically. You put it in your drawer, and it's got a. They smell so good. They smell like roses, man. They smell good. Man, it smells so good. Mm. But anyway, I got that from her. Let's see what else did I get from that young lady? Sweet as she could be, just sweet. Of course, you know I got three of these right here. Oh, yeah, I went to my preacher man's place, too. Preacher man, I went there to his place, too. I'm trying to think. If I, come, if I come back, if I come back, I'll show you. But let me show you what I got at preacher man's. Uh, was it yesterday or day for my? It was yesterday I got it. Let's see. I got, where's my all my stuff at? Y'all, excuse me. Excuse me. I am falling. I just got to get my stuff together. Hang on just a minute. All right, y'all. I'm back. Okay. I found the bag. Of course, you know, y'all know that he's got all the flags for a dollar. And, um, so I found this one. A dollar. Man, y'all can't, I'm telling y'all, you can't beat it. And, um, they don't rig something up in there. What? Oh, oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. But anyway, see this one? If something happens, I might wind up giving it to my neighbor for the, her. She's got children, you know, for, for Halloween. And I don't celebrate Halloween. But I'm going to tell y'all something. I love the fall weather. I love pumpkins. And I love this because this is not spooky or not or anything. I like that. I got that from me. Oh, yeah. Another thing I got from that young lady. You know, they were clean. Clean, clean people. Very clean people. I bought a nice bathing suit from her because I needed a bathing suit. See? Oh, trust me. I check it. I ain't even tried it on. Might be too little or too big. I don't know. I know the jeans fit perfect. And here's the top. It's little. It's little seahorses on it. See that? And, um, you got a little tie in the front that's supposed to tie that and yeah, and you put this around your neck like this right here, which I'm glad about that. But anyway, I had to have one because all mine, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm telling y'all something. Mine, uh, there's a lady here in well, Biloxi, Mississippi. Her name was Bobby. And she made all her bathing suits. And she sewed and the name of them was Bobby's Bikini. That's all I have back there is Bobby's Bikini. She set up her little trailer on the side of the road in Biloxi, Mississippi. And I'd go, every time I'd go, I'd get a new bathing suit, new bathing suit, new bathing suit. Well, you know, I'm 53 years old. I'm not 23 in, anymore. And so, and I still can fit them. Don't get me wrong. But they're too skimpy, if you know what I mean. They're too, too skimpy. All right. Now, let me get back to the preacher man. Let me get back to the preacher man. And then I have a whole set of dishes that go with uh, with this this pattern right here. See that pattern? I go, everything that I bought from him the other day, the preacher man. man. Excuse me, y'all. Fell down. Oh, Lord, something breaking the fell. But anyway, everything that I got from him, the flag and all that, I paid $10 for. But this was included in it. It doesn't have any markings or anything like that on it. And I'm not even sure. Now that's the same pattern, but I'm not sure if that even goes with this. I'm don't I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know if it does or not. I don't know. I know it's a little creamer. And I got that whole set of dishes, which I don't know if I ever told y'all. When we do we were taking this old house down, the man hired us, and I can't Richard was his name. It's been about years ago. And he said, Look, I mean, y'all wouldn't believe the stuff that he was throwing. His mom passed. He was getting rid of I mean, he didn't say nothing. I'm, I'm kidding you not. I thought to myself, that man's crazy. And so he had something. He was, we, I think we burnt the house down. And uh, no, 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 we did not burn the house down. No, excuse me. I did not. He wanted to West. He had a pile of her stuff outside. I'm talking pile. And when I say a pile, I mean a pile of stuff. There was old antique wooden, those wooden chests, you know, back in the day when they got on train and stuff, them wooden ones. There's probably three or four of them. They'd been out in the rain. They blew up. by puffed up the wood and all. They were unsalvageable. And then, then y'all get this. 
there's a whole stack of uh, cast iron skillets and roasters. My husband took his dozier. He didn't realize. He said, well, they were rusty. I said, Wesley, you take them and you burn that off. He took his dozier. I crushed him. But the man said, if there's anything in those sheds you want, you go get them. Well, there was two garbage cans full of that, those dishes. I'm not kid you not. The coffee pot, which still works. The uh, bowls, plates, all it. So I got all of them. And I also got a, two big old black, you know, those leaf bags, garbage bags you get from Lowe's, full of Tupperware. And I traded all that in and got new stuff. But anyway, anyway, now, okay, I got that from Preacher Man. And then this right here, hmm, y'all, this is gorgeous. Okay, it says Michael Ewan, no. You and Gary, January the 2nd, 1957. Look at this, y'all. Y'all, this is... Uh -uh. Y'all look at that. He hand-painted that. See? 1957. Is that not... Y'all, this is gorgeous. I apps y'all just look at that, how gorgeous those roses and stuff are. I mean, I didn't care what he charged. I don't even know what. Well, I got everything for 10 bucks. Hang on, y'all. Let me get a drink of my stuff. I'm a thirsty day. I've been out about all day. What I've been doing, one of my girlfriends, she's retired from the police department. She was at mixed military and all that. She did her she did her duty over in Iraq and all that. And she was a city police officer for years. I mean, up ten years. I've known her for over thirty years. And she, uh, well, her kids would come home sometimes. She wasn't home. She was a single mom. She raised them on her own. And I'm gonna tell you, she got two awesome kids. Her name is Elsie. Mm -hmm. Elsie, I love you. But well, she don't do she don't do YouTube. She don't do YouTube because see, she's retired now. I'm a teacher. <laughs> but her and I. Uh, she wanted to come over a couple weeks ago, and I was sick. And I said, Elsa, I just don't feel good. Well, now I'm back on, I'm back on track, and I feel so much better. And y'all, uh, I have a friend of mine who's got uh, Asperger's synd syndrome. I think it is. I'm not really sure if I'm saying that correctly. She just got COVID, so you know her immune system's already messed up. And also, y'all, please, please. Her name's Tony. That's all I'm gonna say. Please, y'all say a prayer for her, because she's got it. If you've had it, and you got real sick like myself, you know how that is. It's, it's horrible. I mean, you know. But anyway, at the Preacher Man's, you know, I got a few little doilies. They, all this all this was going to be washed and stuff. Uh -uh, get back here, buddy. I got to show you all. Show you all. Here's a little hand towel to put, like, in my bathroom. These are so pretty when you got guests over and all. Let's see what else. Yeah, here's some more. So these first. Here's a little hanky. Little handkerchief. Old handkerchief, too. It's old. Dixie Girl Estate Sale. Hmm. Huh. But this is an old antique uh, handkerchief. I've. I'm going to have the Christmas party, the ladies' Christmas party from church here. Because I was going to do it last year. And y'all all know that we all got sick from our church. So, anyway, I'm ordering uh, handkerchiefs from Wish. And, um, everybody's going to get their, <laughs> I'm going to give them the gift from last year. And they're going to get another little gift. But anyway, also, I got this, I think, was very, very pretty. It's another little hand towel. See that? Isn't that gorgeous? See that? Yeah, y'all can see that. And then, these are all handmade, which I had a bunch of them from a, uh, I picked up a long time ago. But I seen a lady, she had done a wall with them, and I think that's what I'm going to do. But this is for Christmas. You know, somebody hand done that. Ain't that gorgeous, y'all? I got two of these. Uh-oh. These are gorgeous here. Like I said, $10 for everything. And I love the little girl in there. She's uh, She just lost her mother, and it's sad. There's the other blue one. And um, she's always, she always treats me fair when I go in there. All right, let's get, all right, let's get to Miss Josie. Miss Josie, the jewelry lady. All right, I have started collecting. I love them. I don't know why I do. I just say, 
uh, let me read, uh, six, I always forget the name, Alex and Annie, or Anna, Alex and Anna, anyway, I bought, I bought all these from her, which I've had some, but anyway, this one right here, I just got this one in today, this one right here, I don't know what in the world that means, that little eyeball looking thing, and then I got this little bracelet right here, for, now the Alex and Annie, I got that, I paid five dollars for that, and then I paid three for this little green bracelet, which I absolutely adore, adore it, and here's all my little at Alex and Annie, is it Annie, I'm not, let me look y'all, that's gonna bug me to death, I can't see it, I can see the Alex, Anna, or Ann, Alex and Ann, I'm not really sure, but I got like the rose gold, the gold, and the silver, two silvers, well one of them is not one of them isn't. This is just a plain bracelet. Anyway, I got that from her. And then she made, if y'all ever want some custom-made pillowcases for your bed, go to Miss Josie. She has a jewelry sh uh, show on Saturdays at 4 Eastern time. But look, that's not black. That's navy blue. See my little brand spanking new little... Oh, aren't these gorgeous? I want to get me some. They're $10 a piece. But let me tell you something. They're custom-made. There, she presses them. All you got to do is go throw them on your bed. You ain't have to wash them. Uh -uh. Nope, because she makes sure all that stuff is clean. But I got two of these. I want some more of them, but I want to think I'm on. I want more Victorian looking. Yeah, because I'm going to have to. When I get my room back there fixed up, I don't know when I'm going to get there fixing it up. I'm, I mean, I'm going to take y'all for a tour in my little Victorian bathroom and my little Victorian room. All right, I got that from her. All right. And then. You know, I ordered a bunch of stuff from Wish. I got that in. I'll show that to you. But anyway, the other day, and I forgot, I failed to show y'all this. Oh, man, come on. Now, why it was working the other day. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. I probably made an ugly face. Look at my little. You know, I collect these already. I've started collecting. Excuse me, y'all. Anyway, I started collecting these, these little fairy lamps. Look at my little fairy lamp that I got. I paid like $1.90, I think $1.91 at the Goodwill. Yeah, I don't know who it's made by or whatever. Let me turn the lights out real quick. Hang on. See if you can see it. Because it is very, very pretty. Let's see. Ooh, I don't want to not step on anything. Can you, oh yeah, y'all can see that. Isn't that pretty? And it's pink. This is pink. And it's frosted pink. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, uh, Mr. The Preacher Man, he had... And this kind of stuff like this aggravates me a little bit. I don't know if it aggravates y'all. But, <clears throat> you know, when people work at places like that, they always get... And the young man says, well, yeah, I got to... I got a, one of them cobalt blue ones the other day. And I just took it home to my mama. I thought, fella, you work here. You're not supposed to be taking that stuff home. You should let people buy it. Oh, and that's the same place with these with this lady. And she knew that was my... See, I'm getting on my soapbox here. I'm having to knock myself off of it. Because I, I, mm, I still think about them red fairy lamps. And they were little. And you can't find them just anywhere. Lady, if you're watching my video, I hope you're enjoying them. But anyway, let's get off of that. But anyway, let's, let's, I, I'm all messed up. <laughs> now I'm all messed up. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's get. I guess let's get on to the Goodwill. I got that. They gave me that. <laughs> gave me this. Gave me this little bag. They're so sweet. And the little fellow there, his name is Chris. He's so sweet. Oh, he's so sweet. Anyway, there was this picture in there. They wanted six dollars for that thing. I said, "Man, Chris, that's expensive." He said, "Well, hang on, you want me to mark it in?" I said, "If you can mark it." I said, "If you can, you know." I was picking it, so I went on about my business. He come back and looked, marked it off dollar ninety one. So I got this is old, y'all. This is very old. It is old. See the bottom of it and stuff. Look at that. And girl, y'all, it is heavy. So you know what? When I got guests over, tea's going in this baby. Uh, orange juice going this baby. I mean, I love this. This and I mean, y'all talk about heavy. This is heavy. I mean, it is heavy. So I got that today from there. 
And I got me a bunch of shirts, too. I needed the shirts. I always need shirts. I really don't probably don't need nothing, but I, I got them. And then I got this little shelf here, which is Seen Better Days, and it's got to be washed and clean because it is funky. I'm talking, this is nasty. This little thing, I paid a dollar ninety one for it. I, oof, it's just gross to me. I wanted it to put a few little things here and there. Where I'm going to put it, I don't know. I'm going to put it somewhere. Put my pretties on it. Let me go here. All right, and at the dollar store today, excuse me, y'all. I know y'all won't get so mad with me. What is in this bag? Oh, that's, is that trash? Yes, that's trash there. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, at the dollar store, I got me some of these little things to scrub my, you know, wash my face with, you know. They were on sale for hardly, basically nothing. And then, <clears throat> what is her name? Christine, she's from out of Florida, and she's got a, a big, huge YouTube channel and other kind of uh, Instagram, and you name it, she's got it. Anyway, and she's cute. She's the one that's got the little dreadlock. She was talking about Shea Moisture African Black Buck, Black Soap that is awesome, awesome, awesome for your skin. So, I looked up in the dang dollar store. And she said, if y'all ever find it, y'all grab it. And I'd be darned if I didn't get that at the dollar store. Look at that, y'all. I'm going to start using that on my face. And it was only five bucks. It's got a really smooth smell, sweet smell. It's got shea butter in it. It's for trouble skin, which my skin's not trouble, but hey, who cares? I'm using it. Yep. I got that for five dollars today at the yard at the good. I go so many places I don't even know, you know, at the dollar store. Got that. Okay, now um let me show y'all these. And then these oh yeah, these come from the preacher man. I saw these and I jumped on it. I paid three bucks for the set. Which I can see that thing was ten bucks. Salt and pepper. Look at these. Aren't those gorgeous? And these are plastic. That is the neatest looking thing. I don't know what you'd call this. She Bessie. The drum. I don't know. I ain't going to say nothing because I might say something wrong. But anyway. Got that. And then. I don't know if it's a preacher man's. Or at the Goodwill. Y'all look. No, this was at the Goodwill I got this. I paid five bucks for this, and I jumped on it. It is it is from Brazil, made in Brazil, made in Brazil. Can y'all see that? Okay, look at this. Look at this little coffee pot. Y'all tell me this ain't adorable. This this not adorable or what? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I I love teapots. That's just a southern girl. I think every woman loves teapots, but it's I mean, come on. This five bucks. Yeah, I jumped on this. I loved it. Just look at the little thing. It goes right on my stove. Right on my stove. And then it wish, some of my wish come in. And I was surprised when it come in. I had ordered, you know, I started making all those little rag bows and stuff. Let me show y'all what I got. If I can open it. Come on now. There we go. All right, look. There are little charms, you know, little charms you can put on anything. I'm just gonna only. I'm just gonna go through a few of them. I'm not going through the whole dang bag of them. Like here's a butterfly. I guess I don't know what this is. I have no earthly idea. It looks like an arrow. See that? Number five. Let number five. Yeah. Uh oh. Here's like a church. Little church. Anyway, y'all get the gist of what it is. What these are. Oh, well, I don't know where that other one went. But anyway. And then, <clears throat> this bag is full of keys. I can't remember how many's in this. Wait a minute. Wait. No, we don't say how many's in this bag. How many was in this bag? Let me look here. That was, I guess, 50 of these in there. Because there's all kinds of stuff in this. And I think there might be 30 or, 30 or 40 in here. I'm not really sure, y'all. Well, crud, come on. Y'all, I'm so impatient. I am. I'm so impatient. Y'all been doing really good. I'm really, my mood's all happy and stuff. I'm excited. Tomorrow, I'm going to clean, clean, clean my house. I need to start painting, too. 
See, these are all keys. Just all keys. All different kinds of keys. And I broke a nail. Doo doo. I'll just glue it back. I just wanted to show y'all a couple of them. See? But anyway, see the keys. Just a big old bag of keys. When you know you do bows or whatever, you can put them on there. Alright, now let's see what we got going on here. Alright. Now, y'all seen last week where I, when I went to Hobby Lobby, I bought this little thing to put hand soap and hand lotion in. Well, I got to thinking, you know, we drank coffee in the morning. We had these little sweet and low packets. So I'm always putting them in different little things. Well, I bought the smallest little bucket to match. That well, they're not sitting by each other for the coffee. I'm putting all the little sweeteners in this. In a huge, and I paid full price, eight bucks for this. I didn't. This one wasn't on sale this this week, but I thought that was cute. In a match. Then I got this. This was um twenty dollars. I got it for ten. I I love these beads, y'all. Look at that. This is gray. These are gray. Look at that. I just love the way they look. Because eventually I'm going to paint my master bedroom. I'm painting it uh, a light gray. So that might go in. I got that. And then I got this from my laundry room. What does it say? It says laundry. So fresh and so clean. Look at there. And it was $20. And I got it for $10. I'm not buying nothing unless it's on sale. Well, I take that back. That little bucket I, I paid for price. And you know they don't they don't do the 40% off anymore with the tags. That's just I think that's a little cheesy of them myself. Uh okay, that's the goodwill. And that's the goodwill. And this one. Okay. And I don't think I showed y'all this. I got this a couple weeks too. It says pantry. It goes in my pantry on one that old antique uh cabinet. I put it up there. Isn't that cute? And it was uh eight dollars. I paid four for it. Oh yeah, and then my husband's my husband's office. He bought a very beautiful Christian sign, and I had some more signs to go with it. So I started. I'm starting to add some more because that's a big wall. And I bought this right here. It says "Pray more, worry less." We, him, and I both need to do that. So I'm gonna put this up underneath one of the signs that he got, and it was eight nine dollars. So it'd been what four fifty? Yeah. And then. Let's see, I spent, at Hobby Lobby, I spent $78. No, no, excuse, $73. Then I got these little vegetables, well, these garlics to go with my other, my other fruit and my other vegetables, whatever. And they were $3, so what's that, $1.50 each right here. Then I got an onion to go with it, so I got that. They were all $1.50 each, half off. All right. And then, let me get over here. I got some more right here. All right, let me tell y'all something. Oh, well, I'm going to do that last. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Then I got this rustic looking uh, thing to hold your coats. I love that. I'm going to put it somewhere. I don't know why I'm going to put it, but I just liked it. <laughs> I just liked it. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Okay, this was uh, $12, so I got it for 6 And then, y'all know I got this walk-in closet in here. And they just had these little, these cute little stickers, like with shoes. And I'm like, I'm a probably gonna put, you know, I pay seventy four cents to put like the shoe uh, sticker up there where my shoes are at, and it's just eyelashes. Be a boss, babe. I think it's so cool. Do your and wear your hus hustler. What the hus? I don't know what this is. Hustle. No, hustle, yeah. And wear your hustle? Hustle? I don't know what that means. Girls just want to have fun. What's this one say? You are a whole lot of lovely. Do a, do a little good every day. Good lashes. Good lashes. Good mood. <laughs> Isn't that cute? They had it on the, on the 75% mark there. I got that. Now, this here, y'all, I'll tell y'all about this. I'm always, I'm always talking to myself. Y'all, my grandma says, it's okay. God rest her soul. She said, back years ago, she said, it's okay, Nita. Because she was talking to herself. And I said, what, Mimo? 
What, me mom? She said, I'm talking to myself. I said, why are you talking to yourself? That sounds crazy. She said, as long as you don't answer yourself, you okay, you can talk to yourself. So I've always, I've always been like, I said, well, you, I tell my husband, I can talk to myself, I just can't answer myself. Anyway, it's this sign right here says, of course I talk to myself. Sometimes I need expert advice. <laughs> so I showed my husband this, he started laughing. I don't know why I put this dang thing, but I just had to have it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm constantly to myself all the time. I'm always chit-chatting to myself. I ain't got nobody else to talk to. Huh. Alright, and then after that, Hobby Lobby, I got me some more flowers. They was all half price too. Yeah. Oh, uh, y'all, I love my lavender. I love, love, love my lavender. And all this was half off. Every bit of this was half off. This was regular $15. Isn't that pretty? So like what seven? No, wait a minute. Yeah, seven fifty, guess. And these were uh four dollars pieces, regular eight dollars. See, I like them because they're just simple. They're not gaudy looking, and they don't look cheap. I'm telling you, these don't look cheap at all. Cause you know I bought that that um that uh picture in there, that enamelware, and I've got it fixed up. Well, I like it. Well, I got other enamelware uh, pots too. It's getting hot in here. And uh, and all, and so I'm probably gonna put them in there. All right, now the Goodwill today. This is the Goodwill one that I went today. Went today. Some things I don't understand why they how they price their stuff because this is vintage, this right here, and it was only a dollar ninety one. Well, they had a clear one and they wanted like four bucks. And I'm like, oh well, I didn't want the clear one anyway. This is pink, it was a dollar ninety one. I love it. And this is this is depression glass, I know it is because. See, a dollar ninety-one. But let me see something here, y'all. Yeah, it's got a name on it. Hang on. Hang on here just a second, y'all. We're here. Let's see. What does that say? But anyway, look at this. It's pink. It looks orange or whatever. Look. Isn't that pretty? There's literally no chips. Yeah, no chips or nothing on this. Y'all tell me or not if this is vintage. It looks vintage to me, and it's pink, and it's pink, and, um, what in the world does that say? I can't see that. Oh, well, it's got something in there, in the middle. I don't know what that was. What is that? I got to get my magnifying glass is what I got to get. Okay, but anyway. Y'all can't see it neither. But anyway, there's something in there. I can't see it through here either. But this is pink. And it's, like I said, it's got little little things on the bottom. They don't, I, I just, I love them. Wash it up really good. Clean it. Take these old stickers off of here. Oh, well, this ain't the time and place to be taking them off right now. All right. I got that. Ugh. And let's see what I spent at the Goodwill. I spent 30, might as well say 34, 34, wait a minute, and then another $2, uh, 34, 5, $36 at the Goodwill today. And I can't remember what I paid the other day. But anyway, I got this book here for $1.99, never been used, and look at the price on it. Can y'all see that, $12.99? It is 180 prayers for women, for women, and women of God is what it is. See, look, nobody has ever done anything with this, you know, and I have a prayer closet that I got, you know, I watched that movie, The Prayer Closet, and I finally got me a little space in my room back there, and it's, it's a little corner. It's got, I'll have to show it to y'all one day. I'm not going to give it all away. But anyway, I got that for $1.99. We'll wipe it up and clean it up. Get the cooties off of it. And then I got this. I love this book, Moses. And um, my girlfriend, Elsie, the one I went out with today, I asked her if she wanted it. And I paid $1.99 for it. The lady, you she's supposed to charge me $2.99, but she didn't. She said, I'm not going to charge you $2.99. This book was in Canada. It was $22 more in Alabama. In the United States, it's $16. But y'all, look at this. Look at the graphics and stuff in this. This is beautiful. Look at that. Is that not be? It tells the story of slavery and stuff like that. It is. It's terrible. You know, you know what I'm saying, y'all. Look at that beautiful face. 
Tell me that ain't beautiful. Look at that grab. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But anyway, I got it from my friend. I'm telling you, I would love if she don't say more about it. I'm gonna read it, and then I might even frame, take some uh, copies. Might just take the copies, and um, that's more likely what I'm gonna do. Just take copies, and uh, you see, look at this one right here. Tell me this ain't beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think no one's ever bothered to even read this. I'm telling you, that's a shame. But anyway, I got that one for a dollar ninety nine. She gave that to me. Ooh, that better not be broke. Ooh, I, you ain't gonna believe this. It's the first time I've ever found it. I hear about, about seeing Ray done all the time. It's good with that. Mm -hmm. Look what I got. Mm-hmm. Look, I paid two dollars for it. Yes, sir, buddy. Let me see how much it really originally is. And hang on, y'all. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Got it for two dollars. Oh, sweet old Ray Dunn. I love my Ray Dunn. I love it. Oh, goodness. I seen that and I snatched. And you ask people, do you know, do y'all have a Ray Dunn? What is that? A lot of people don't know what it is. That's okay, too. What is it? Oh, yeah. And I love stuff like this because it makes your home look homey. I've got two of these garlands and they were do they were 99 a dollar piece. How many feet's in them? Nine feet. You can't beat that. Look at that. Ninety-nine cents. I jumped on that. What else is if I can't up? No. All right. Let me show you what I got. Uh, I got six shirts for twenty dollars. All right. Here's my first one. Love it. Just absolutely love it. Look at that face. And look at the front of how it's short in the front and all. It says, faith, it does not make things easier. It makes them possible. Luke 1, 37. See, look. Isn't that gorgeous and beautiful? Look at that. That's why I got this one here. And that's, wait a minute. And that other one, too, from the Goodwill, too. Then I got this shirt right here, Roll Tide Roll. Woo-hoo! See my Roll Tide. Alabama! Yep. Love it. And then, this was considered a shirt. This is a very, very nice vest. A very nice vest right here. I tried it on and on. Look at that. Tell me that's not cute. It's a, it's a black. I don't know if that's navy or what color it is. I have no idea. I have no idea. But I love it. What color is that? I think it's black, y'all. But I didn't care. I said, I'm getting that. Got that one. And then I got uh, this sweater for the fall. See, I love them long, long sleeves. I love them. And one thing on this sweater here, it's got the little some little balls on it, you know. And I'm just gonna take nip them off. Is what I'll do on that. And then I love this. I really, I can wear this now. It's lightweight. But look, I really and truly love, love, love this. See that? <laughs> look at the arms, y'all know. I love these arms. Look. Look at them arms. Tell me that ain't cool, y'all. Look at that. I love that. Get it. Let me hand, hold it right. It has a few little nip, nip, them little balls. I just have to get them off. I love that. I think this is going to be my favorite. Because I'm going to put some... Um, some leotards up underneath. I just absolutely, this is from Old Navy, and I love this. I've got to wash it. i got to wash all my goodies. But look here. This is considered a shirt. It don't look like a shirt to me, but I'm going to put leotards up on it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Which well, really, I like everything that I got. Really, to tell you the truth, I like everything. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, well, that was my haul. I think I got everything. I showed y'all everything, I believe. Yeah, I did. I'm trying to think, make sure. Oh, let me show you my outfit when I put it together, that little outfit that I got. How it's going to, I'm about to wear it to church like this. See, because I, I, you know, I go to the Pentecostal church. But anyway, I, put, I found this little shirt to go up underneath it, you know, because see, it's really low cut. But this is what it looks like, y'all. It's wrinkled all up. But see, isn't that pretty with all that lace and all that whatever, you know? Isn't that cute? Look at 
See, it's just adorable to me. I'll wear it Sunday to church. Yep. But anyway, y'all, that's everything that I got. I believe I've showed y'all everything. and uh, So I hope that y'all are going to have a really, really blessed weekend. And have fun with your families. Be safe. Wear those masks. Because uh, my girlfriend, Tony, she's real funny about stuff. And how she got... I'm so worried about her, y'all. Please keep her in your prayers. Keep the whole United, the whole world in your prayers, you know. Just keep people crazy nowadays, you know. That's what me and Elsie were talking about. You know, she she needs to write a book. That's what she needs to do on stuff she's seen over the years. She said, Need I could write a book. So the stuff crazy folks do. But I tell you, folks don't have no respect for others, and it's, it's sad. It's so, so sad. But anyway, y'all just pray for each other and, and keep, keep our president in y'all's prayers. Vice President and y'all's prayer, just keep, you know, uh, you know, even though you don't vote vote for certain people, what, it, what gets me is people will say, well, you voted for this one, you vote. He's still your president. You got to hold him up before the Lord. You got to. He's still your president, no matter what, okay? If you don't like him or not, pray for him, okay? He's human. So is she. Anyway, enough about that. But I hope y'all have a good weekend. I don't have no stories to tell, I don't think. I told you about Tanner getting out. I think that's all. Nothing exciting. I, oh, no, I do. Lord, must, I got something to tell y'all. I do. I got something to tell you. Uh, you know, I got the baby chickens, the two baby chickens. with my beagle, she killed one of them. I'm still hurt over it. Well, the other one, she's probably about this big, and her name's Little Bit. Well... I started putting her out there with them biggins. Well, what do they do? They beat her up. What she do? She runs to me. And so I pick her up, and she's got a little cage out in the garage, and I put her in there. Well, at night, y'all, this ain't no lie. I kid y'all not. I kid y'all not. At night, she sleeps in the bed with me. I know y'all thinking, ooh, don't go there. Do not go there. I've taken precautions on her pooping. She's got a big towel right there. And and I always I'm always up and down all night. And I get if she does she barely poops at night. And when she does, I get it up. You know, I get it because I have everything by my bed right there. And last night, for some reason, bam, she was right here, just laying across my across my neck, just laying there sleeping. Her little neck be stretched out, y'all. She's the best thing. She's better than any dog, any cat, any human. And she goes right to sleep. And and she purrs. She go. <laughs> So I've never had a chicken to do that. Never. Now, I had two ducks that I got, two different breeds. I got them when they were babies. And we have a pond out back there. I wanted to go out there. Mm -mm, they wasn't having it. Their bucks right, flew over my little privacy fence to my back little section back here. Right above my, on my feet. They would stay off the back porch. They wouldn't leave me alone. So I had to give, I had to give them away because, y'all, they, they were pooping all over my porch. And so I couldn't handle none of that, so I had to get rid of them. They went to a very, very good home, though. We had ponds and other ducks and stuff. But I didn't know ducks would get attached to you like that. But uh, now that little chicken, she's real attached to me. And I love her, and she loves me. So her name's a little bit. But I'm getting about to get off of this. I'm going to get online and look how to do the diapers for them. And I got a bunch of material, so tonight she might be putting a diaper on. I'm serious. If she does, I'll take a picture and post it on Facebook. Y'all, I'm under Nita May on Facebook if you want to find me. And um, so anyway, but I love y'all. And for all my new subscribers, I thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate all my subscribers. I love each and every one of y'all. Yes, I do. I know I haven't met you, but yeah, I do. I love everybody. God gave me the love to love everybody. He loved me first, and I love y'all. So anyway, like I said, just pray for everybody. So y'all have a good weekend if you like it. Like it, share, and subscribe. Peace out.